Welcome back everyone to my Galactic Civilizations 3 Let's Play playing with the Crusade expansion with the Torians on Godlike Difficulty. So I'm only 9 turns into the game, should get through quite a few more turns this time round though. We're within the colony phase of the game where basically I'm trying to get out colony ships as quickly as possible with as much speed as possible to colonize as many planets as possible. Uh, before the AI does, the real wealth of uh, the game in Galaxy 3 is the planets. And uh, Starbase wealth to a certain degree behind that, but planets by far is the most important thing when it comes to uh, doing well. So the more we can get, the better. Let's end the turn then and uh, hope to do just that. So I've got uh, one colony ship here. You don't actually start with a colony ship anymore as well, which I didn't mention in the first video, so that's a bit of a change. Completely forgotten about that. Uh, let's pick up this uh, artifact on route. Uh, there was how many plants here? Three. So, yeah, you can see them in greater detail as well here, uh, which I should do so, really. Uh, all of these happen to be colonizable as well. None of them were extreme planets. We happen to be aquatic though, so if they were aquatic extreme plants, we would be able to colonize them. And the Yore are one of our opponents, so uh, yeah, they're going to probably be picking up most of the extreme plants within this game, sadly. So they're going to be particularly powerful opponents. But uh, yeah, they're in the game to give me a challenge, that's why I've selected them. Uh, the, uh, well, all of the AIs will give me a challenge, but them especially. Uh, the Ancient riches have been found within that artifact. At least, hopefully, they will. Uh, so, yeah, I want to come over in that direction and find that next turn. What am I making on here at the moment? I'm making the Epimetheus refinery. Okay. So, let's end the turn. And we've actually got our first citizen. Itzi Zayanri from Kibola, Lemuria, has risen above all peers to become a galactic citizen. Now you can train a citizen into an ever-increasing number of specializations that will help shape the destiny of your civilization. We've got another colony ship finished this turn, which I'll come to shortly. Let's check out, check out our citizens there. So, at the beginning of the game, I've only got three choices with the Torians, Administrator, Worker, or a Scientist. And I'm actually going to hold off from selecting one because I'm more than likely going to be wanting an Administrator which will allow me to colonize more or get more star bases or even survey ships. But I've got an Administration point so there's no point in uh, picking them up yet. Who knows, I might, may actually want to change my mind. I uh, highly doubt it. I'd say it's like 99% certain I won't at this stage because uh, I'll be using up my admin points very quickly. But yeah, I don't think you should pick your citizens until you actually need them or you're certain about the pick you want. There's colony there, not a very good one. Um, yeah, later on I'll be able to get give you better examples about situations where it was best to wait, I think, rather than this one. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to pick them yet anyway. So let's come up here. Try and get sight on there. No anomalies on this pass, sadly. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What the hell is that? Well, it's got a great name. Very catchy. Uh, 127001. This is a precursor world. So this is part of a small DLC. What this one does is give a bonus to gross income. It is a... Precursor Treasury World. I'm more than likely going to be wanting to colonize that and possibly even next. But you know what? There's a reason why I don't want to colonize this next, which um, I'm not going to go into details yet. <laughs> You'll have to wait a bit. Uh, it won't be too long now. It's to do with the ideology picks, some of you may know. Uh, right, so let's keep on moving out over here. Oh, there's a planet there, but it's pretty crappy. I don't really want to colonize that next. I want to colonize a really good world. Next, the first, or well, the second one. Uh, so my shipyard is idle. I actually completed enough colony ship to nine this turn. 
I think I might send one down in that direction just to make sure there's not an empire down here because it would be pretty embarrassing if there is an empire here and it colonizes a ton of worlds because I don't think one was down there. It is possible, just unlikely. Uh, so... Maybe I'll hold off though. Uh, that's, there could be an empire here so I should probably come up in that direction. How good are these worlds? Ten? Nine. Yeah, we'll send one up there. Gonna risk it still. Uh, so the population, how quickly did I grow? I think I'll put two billion on this time round. Maybe I put a tiny bit too much. We actually get extra amount on our colony ships anyway when they colonize, I think, because of the Torian ability. So the population is crazy. I'm gonna have to get farms a lot sooner than I would with other races as well to build the city improvements but um, yeah I won't be able to quite yet. Let's do 1.8 okay can I come up here past the black hole? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, that's being made and yeah that's it for the turn. Next turn. So I'm now out of admin points. Next thing I make gonna have well if I need another colony ship, I'm going to have to use a citizen. Now, something happened this turn, and there wasn't a notification. I like the new notification system. It used to be over here somewhere before they changed the UI. And it's uh, showing up a lot of good things. But what it should be showing you, or telling you, is when you get a new asteroid within your influence. And it doesn't currently. It really needs to do that. This is like a quality of life improvement that goes a long way. And... Uh, yeah, they, they need to add that definitely because asteroids are incredibly important. So, th there's going to be the odd case where I an asteroid comes into my influence and I'm going to miss it. I'm going to guarantee that at this point. I'm not going to spot every instance. So, if you see an instance of me missing out on it, well, yeah, it's just going to happen, I'm afraid, without the notification system. I'm telling you. Uh, right, so let's keep on come up in that direction I think. No anomalies up here sadly. Still. Okay, a lot of asteroids up there. Gonna be wanting to get constructors out at some point to bank resources and asteroids but uh, not quite yet. There's actually three worlds here. Oh wow. That's a pretty damn good world isn't it? Class 16. Serene influence growth morale. Hypersilicates. Now sadly when you colonize a planet now, well you do get some information about the planet in the fact that you know what resource types are there, but I don't know what bonus hypersilicates give you, which if I knew that I could decide, I'd have more information to decide what events I would want to pick. I think I'm actually going to colonize that 16 size planet because uh, it would be very good for what I've got in mind. So it's got to be there, I guess. Uh, let's end the turn. Let's come up here. Oh, there's a black hole. Now, minus is 75% movement. So these nebulas are starting to become a bit of a pain. Um, don't have a choice, I think. I'm going to have to go through it. Yeah, that really is a pain. I can't even come up here at all easily. That's the only route I can come up, it would seem. Where and the star base is in the wrong place and I can't move the star base without stopping production. Might be a route there, but I don't think so either. Okay. So this uh normally searching ship can come up here. I would actually I think there's a lack of terrain in Galaxy 3 and that's something I would want the developers to do something about if they continue working on the game, which hopefully they are. They haven't said they're not going to. Uh, definitely going to be doing future patches, I know that. I think Galaxy 3's uh, game cycle is supposed to be five years and they're three years in. At least they said five years initially. Uh, let's come down here. Uh, they've been developing it for at least four. Yeah, so I'm going to colonize that. This is new as well. I didn't think you could have plants next to each other in previous iterations. 
Okay. Right. I am tempted to colonize that, but maybe I would want it as a wealth world, and I don't really want... Yeah, that would mean I want to put a lot of wealth there instead of production, which I want to put on my first world. I colonize. Uh, let's come up to here slowly. Okay, how many turns on that? Two turns. Right, let's uh, end the turn. Okay. Let's give him a bit of information there. We've got research in. So we now have interstellar travel, which gives me a variety of upgrades. Next tech I'm going to go for is a bit of an interesting one. This is a specialization tech. Now in my colonizing guide, colony spam guide, I picked this one, I believe. Now I kind of changed my mind actually over future patches and started picking this one a, a lot more because you could often trade with the AIs with that. But nowadays the bonus from this is a lot less than it used to be. And constructors, you don't need to put so many constructor modules on them as you used to because of uh, changes to how star bases work. Which I mentioned a bit in the intro bit, uh, intro video I did, and I'll mention again and later on. Uh, so yeah, I would go, I would choose this again at the moment, the extra movement point. In most circumstances, nearly all circumstances, and that's the tech I'm going for next. Okay. So, Ranger's looking pretty good here. Let's have a look at that star. Nothing here. Let's colonize this world, I think, now then. Okay, so it's uh, class 16. There's no, like, uh, Civilopedia giving you hints or anything how to uh, play the game. Really, the best way to learn the game is probably by watching uh, Let's Plays like this, actually, rather than... Uh, there might be a tutorial in the game, actually, but I haven't even checked it out. Uh, let's colonize this anyway. Right. And we get an event, which you do on most planets. So, there is a bit of an issue, in my opinion, with the events, and this has been the case since Galsiv 2 when I were first uh, introduced, I think. Maybe Gals of One, I can't remember now. But the Malevolent events have always been a lot better than the others. It's arguably not as bad as it used to be in Gals of Two, but it's still pretty bad. And uh, because of that, in most circumstances, you're going to be picking the Malevolent picks. You can see here, that's a bonus, which is better than that. Yeah, and that's influence, which is nice, but probably not as good as productivity in most circumstances. So this is our world, and I'll come back there. Right, silicates one is research. So I've got to try and remember that for future reference. Uh, we get an ideology pick, and there hasn't been any changes to the ideology trait. Sadly, I was hoping there would be with Crusade because this line here is incredibly powerful and it's overpowered. Frankly, I will be picking it. So the reason why I actually wanted uh, to colonize a particularly good world for our uh, first planet is because this one, which comes in later, Ruthless, it mentions it doubles the military production of our home world. Well, it's actually home system. It used to be. But now it does the first two planets you colonize. I think the game developers assumed that you'd always colonize the other planet uh, that's within your starting system, the crappy world. Whereas in reality, I wouldn't always do that and I've never really done that. So what's going to happen is the first planet that I colonize will also get the bonus that that should have gotten, which will mean it will get uh, that boost to 100% ship construction on top of the home planet. At least uh, that's been the case in the games I've played so far. So the fact that we've got an amazing class 16 planet with another 100% boost on top and that planet as well, that's going to be a lot of extra production. Production is really the key to the game uh, in many regards, so that's why this line is so powerful because there's so much extra production here. 
and uh, there are some other nice picks. A lot of people love this, uh, the free constructors, and it is a very good pick. That's a pretty decent pick as well, uh, within Pragmatic, potentially. If the AI gives you problems, and uh, but yeah, this line is overpowered. There's some um, culture flipping techs in here, I think, which are arguably okay. And there's some extra planets in various locations within here. I think there might be one in uh, here somewhere. Yeah, but um, if you have a map with next to no planets, those extra planets are actually very good. But Malevolent, that line I'm going along is just overpowered. And they should change it in my opinion. To uh, make the game a bit more balanced. Right, so there's another good planet up there. So, what the hell am I going to do with this world anyway? So, I definitely want to research around there. And in fact... This building here, what I want to do is scrap that at some stage and place it there. Hopefully you can do that. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't tried it before. But, um, yeah, that would get us a lot of extra uh, science, certainly. But I don't really want to use this world as a science world. I want it as a production. So it's a bit unfortunate we got a ton of extra science here in, in some regards, but not really. Uh... So, let's get our production up first. Yeah, I'll get this up first because it gives uh, raw production for all construction. So, I'm going to put it there because I can put science around there eventually. I think that will probably be the better idea. That will immediately give me a boost and get this up a bit quicker. I may want to replace it though somewhere else later on, which I should be able to do. So, uh, let's end the turn. I haven't forgotten a colony in there. No, good. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, I am prone to doing every now and then. Uh, let's uh, keep on moving then. Let's come up here. Okay. Oh wow, there's another three worlds here. Very good ghost world. Looks like I got a pretty damn good start here actually. A lot of colonized by worlds not too far away. Uh, right. I think. Let's, um, capsule, I guess I'll come over here a tiny bit, and then come back down there, maybe. Okay. Right. Shipyard, let's stick in. Ah, now you can see here, I've run out of administrators. So, I need to use my citizen, since I haven't got any administrators from my tech yet, which it is possible to do, so. Let's hire this guy, so, I knew I was going to do it, but, uh. Should I make a point, I guess? So, have I selected it? Ah, uh, yeah, I have. Okay, good. So, he gave an extra four in base administration or managers, and he's also an employee, so he's given me uh, plus one as well. And later on, if I can get certain resources, then I might promote him yet again, or even use him as a mobster to get off. Uh, well, pay less in colonial maintenance, probably not, but the minister one is probably why I use him for, which is more than likely going to be a lot more useful. So, uh, shipyard, let's come back in here, keep on making these colony ships, it would seem I need a lot of them. Right, and this one, let's not forget it, uh, I want to come up here, I think. So, uh, which direction do I go in there? Maybe I'll look for that one around that system on route here and what's population we're getting one every four turns at the moment so that's uh, about two billion maybe off I'd take I'd take 1.8 billion off I think in this case Let's see how, how much it goes down okay Let's come over there. Yeah, it's never going to be a problem. Let's end the turn. Oh, that's coming with my territory. Don't know when. No notification. Let's actually purchase it though. I'm going to need to find more anomalies to keep my money up to get future asteroids. Not going to be focusing on getting money on my planets anytime soon. 
which is what I would have done in the old patches as well, pre-crusade. Uh, let's get a capsule then. Okay. Uh, that has no habitables. Okay. Let's end the turn. Now we've got an event. I think the events may be a bit more frequent than they used to be, which is good as well. So you don't have to completely rely on colonizing to get extra ideology. So in this case, you get a lot. Well, you get 30 ideology instead of 20 for those options if you go for that for that pick. But these seem to be giving you very good amounts of uh, a boost. And if you pick these, I think we are the Torians, aren't we? So, so maybe I should pick some benevolent picks after all, since um, that's what they would normally go for. Actually, influence would be nice, wouldn't it? So I'll go for that. Uh, you could, yeah, it's definitely iffy though, maybe doing this, but we'll have a bit of uh, benevolent ideology. So what do I want to pick? There's extra research points immediately. It's a missionary center, which I don't know what it does actually anymore within Crusade. I wouldn't mind knowing. Uh, free colony ship. That's crap. I can get that quick. Get them pretty quick, can I? Elevation foundation achievement. This uh, boosts. What's it do? Elevation foundation encourages visitors to your civilization to assimilate more fully to your species culture, boosting the colony's morale by 100% and generating a benevolent ideology point every five turns. That one's every ten turns. Uh, I think that might be a one-off. If I'm remembering correctly. So I'm going to pick that one. I may be wrong on that, but I'll go for that. That has some more points. So I may have made a mistake there. I don't know the benevolent ideologies uh, too well, especially in this patch. Now these buildings actually seem to be a lot worse than they used to be because they're so expensive. So this one is an influence. That's approval. It's only one point every ten turns. And uh, that one is flat influence growth. So I might use it in the odd rare circumstance. And that's morale, likewise, I might use that occasionally. Okay, uh, but not too often. Uh, let's pick up those capsules. I think they're pretty good. Now we'll come over in that direction to see if there's any empires in the area. Right, so what if I completed recently? I... Uh, don't know, maybe, oh it was, this it was. So did we get extra ship construction on from this? Space elevator, starport, base manufacturing. Not sure we did actually. Can't tell. No. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we did. But uh, it's looking pretty decent anyway. So now I'm going to go for the aid research, which basically converts production into research. Only 25 research for 100 production, so it's not a great uh, switch to be honest, but I don't need any of these on here yet. Uh, the money is too small to really matter at this stage. This is an extra tile, but I don't need that yet, and they're really valuable, the ones that allow you to do it anywhere, so I need to uh, think about that carefully before I use it. Won't be. Uh, be quite a while before I do. Uh, let's end the turn then. Okay. Uh, let's come over here. Okay. Got a boost to that. Right. How are we looking here? What's the movement there? Minus 50. It's not as bad as that. Oh, it's sim actually. Huh. Maybe there's two nebulas next to each other that have slightly different effects. We've got another event. Great. 
I think I'm going to go back to my leveling this time round. Extra trade income. 100% that's one heck of a bonus. Okay. So I didn't actually pick up an ideology for that. Uh, because I picked one from here that made the next malevolent pick more expensive. So I need 25 now. I made it 5 more expensive. And uh, each time you make a pick within the category it makes it 10 more expensive. Right. So we got a tech of that category. Uh, so extra movement, excellent. That's going to help a lot. So now I need to probably switch. I do want to pick up Iron Drive, probably more than likely, but I might pick up something else first. Or should I? Um, I don't think there's anything that would particularly speed things up, like getting factories here. There isn't room in the area, so I'll actually go for the Iron Drive next. Uh, sometimes I would uh, maybe pick that up. Uh, so what is in here? Yeah, factories in here. There's a uh, galactic achievement for extra food, which for the Torians, yeah, that's pretty good actually, maybe, to make an early city. I think normally planetology gives a special building as well, but it doesn't with the Torians. It's a free colony, colonizable planet normally. I'm going to come in this direction and pick up Universal Translator. I want to come along here to get the leader citizen very quickly. Gives a lot of uh, extra administrators en route as well, which would be great. And leaders are fantastic, and I mentioned quite a bit in the introduction video I did about them. So, uh, let's continue on here. Okay. Right, shipyards. Uh, let's keep on making... Well, actually, I got new... Uh, engines recently, I think I've forgotten that, so I need to switch around my uh, build list here. So I've got some of the... right, so what I want to do is uh, unfavor these, because they're an old design. And the Mark IIs I want to favor, which have the newer engines on. And... Uh, Yeah, I just want my designs as well. Okay. Right, so if we come into here, for example, you can see they're using Hyperdrive Plus, which use a lot less mass, uh, drive mass, but uh, the same speed. Okay, so that's something I've done previously in, I don't know, the 30, 40 turn Torian game I played prior to this. Test them out. Uh, let's add in a spawn it there. Did I forget to do that last time around making a colony ship? I probably did. Uh, right, so there is one in there though. So I'm making those every four turns. Got 11.3. I put a one and a half on this one I think. And um, I guess I'll there. I'm not really sure where to put it because it's anomaly, it's in the way, but I want to... Ooh, that's not good. Uh, we found the humans where they colonized up here yet. Could be over there. Need to bring more colonies out over there as well. Okay. Where's that going to? i stop that. Ah, here we go. So it's got moving at a three. It's no doubt coming to there or there. Uh, which is the best one here then? That's got precursor nanites. Uh, I don't know if that's better than Techapot Hive. I don't need know these resources well enough yet. So I think I'll take the one that's furthest away probably. Right. Let's end the turn. Is that on? Right, I'll actually do the manual movement for this. What's there? Nothing there. Let's bring uh, that up in that direction as well. 
need to get up there. Well, if I colonize there, that will give me range up there. It may even be worthwhile declaring war on the Terrans just to stop them from colonizing, but probably not at this stage. I don't think I'll do it. Under some circumstances, I would. Uh, I'd like to know where they are, though. How often they're going to be sending ships in this direction. Right, that star's got nothing. Okay, so out of that and that, yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Okay, I wish I knew what Tekapot did because it may may have influenced my decision here. I mean, I don't know if uh, it's economy related or research related or what, but I don't think I'm gonna be making pragmatic picks anyway. So, I think, I think I'll make a, yeah, I'll go for Benevolent again, which, uh, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be doing, but uh, I guess I will. Right, that's social construction. So, in this instance, I'm one, I've realized I've forgotten something as well. Each and every planet you colonize, well, they don't start with a spaceport. So I could actually, if I add them in here, yeah, I can get their production, which is next to nothing, but I might as well get it for that, for those shipyards. Okay. Uh, right, what else am I doing? This one, I need to make a space elevator somewhere. Right, so this is best place in the middle of a circle, really. i got a tiny booster research, and that is construction. I think I'll put it there then. Yeah. Okay. It's going to take a while. Right. If I can get some asteroids later on, it will help. Uh, let's try and outrace that colony ship down with this one. 